Ah, you trying to scare me with spooky face shadows and weird background music? Fuck you. What were you saying? Oh yeah, you gotta take the ingredients back. If the game already teleported me back to the castle and put me in the main stairwell area on the correct floor, why not just send me all the way back to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Why should I have to walk there? The game already did most of the work, what's the point of this? I've got the bit of goyle. Wonder what well Ron and Hermione were doing alone in here this whole time. Because Ron certainly wasn't helping with the potion. There you go. Rather you than me. Yeah, we already established that you weren't helping with shit. Fuck off. Thanks. <laughs> hey. oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, no kidding. His skin is literally boiling. That's gotta be painful, though. His bone structure and skin surface area and everything have to be changing so fast, and that's gotta feel like stretching torture on the rack or something. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> They even showed his shoes getting bigger, and I thought his feet would burst out of them, I don't know. But why didn't they get a bigger pair of shoes for this whole thing like they did in the book, especially if you're going to devote a camera shot to the growing feet? And did the Polyjuice Potion really change his clothes for him too? Well no, it did. Harry's red Gryffindor robes turned into green Slytherin robes along with all the other sickening transformations. Oh, wrong way. Although Goyle runs all right, I suppose. Wow, Goyle can be quite athletic if he puts his mind to it. Although that assumes it's his mind that's controlling the body and his own motivations. This music is somehow very fitting. I wonder if that other student will still trade with me. He looks like he's dressed in Slytherin robes, too. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. Eh, that must be a generic response programmed into the game for weird situations like this. I bet he'll trade some more with me when I'm transformed back into Harry. Wow, there's not much headroom through here. Pure blood. What's the password? But I can use that to get into the Slytherin common room. <laughs> it's Harry's mind in Goyle's body. How is he unable to talk any faster? How is it that he can run as fast as he normally could in Goyle's body, but not talk as fast while still retaining his own mind? Um... Well, that's a neat way to effectively close a door behind you and open another one next to you. I'll just raid all this stuff for goodies like I usually do. Oh, fuck! My beans... God damn it. Fucking piece of shit. I hope there wasn't a card that I missed out on, although I'm not sure if a suit of armor has ever given me a card. I can't recall. Presumably it's just beans and it's not a huge loss. But I'll never know. Yeah, Goyle's body should be quite effective at picking up these little shits and throwing them back in their holes. Did that gnome just grunt, let go? Another trap door room? Well, trap door isn't really the right word, it's more like an elevator. Eh, never mind. I was hoping for a split second I was ascending upwards back to where I left the beans behind. 
I guess the snake heads don't do anything. I do love the way the walls rotate. It's like the carousel of progress at Disney World's Tomorrowland. Oh, thanks for clearing that for me. Oh, what the Have fuck? Fun, Goyle. <laughs> Have fun, Goyle. <laughs> yeah, I heard you the first time. Jesus, though, even the Slytherin kids get shit on by people of their own house. Or maybe Goyle and probably Crab too just aren't really liked by anyone other than Draco, who probably doesn't like them too much anyways, except for the fact that he views them as two useful idiots. I bet the jerk-off who wrecked the bridge didn't expect Goyle to be as athletic as he actually is. That's weird how he says the word scourge. You'll have to listen to that again. I'm surprised the incantation even works. He barely pronounces the syllable properly. Although, then again, I'm myself and not the clearest speaker either, so I can't criticize too much. Ah, so that's how that works. Now I can just jump down and get the bridge stuck again. I thought there might be a hidden area behind that wall, though. There we go. Actually, no, that's a bullshit way of thinking I described earlier. Uh, just because you aren't skilled at something such as speaking clearly doesn't mean you can't identify that other people are bad at it, too. That applies to any skill, really. Imagine if you were describing why someone was a terrible politician, and then whoever you're arguing with retorts with, Well, do you think you could do a better job? Like, what the fuck does that have to do with someone else's job performance? They made mistakes or had shitty opinions, so... Yeah, I don't know where else I'm gonna go with this, but yeah. I bet the Pixies didn't expect an attack from someone like Goyle. I wonder if the real Goyle is still asleep, or... Well, there was no precaution taken to ensure that the real Goyle doesn't come back into the Slytherin common room while I'm here. The pretty big oversight on the part of Hermione. I mean, jeez, she's the brains. A shame, though. That would have been fun to have Harry put a hex or something on Goyle while he was asleep to make sure that he wouldn't wake up or be found for a few hours. Good. Another bronze card. Another step closer to getting a fourth health bar, which I'm sure I'm going to need for the climax in this game. I have no idea how difficult that final fight might be with the... the... big-ass snake. Uh... Basilisk. Yeah, that's it. What happened? Did you bang your knee on the floating stone? What happened? Shit yourself a bit? What happened? Snag your ball sack? I know I saw sparkles there a second earlier. The Luma spell must have expired right at the last second before I could get through that doorway. Slightly annoying, but no big deal. Did I finally make it? Why do you look lost? This is our common room. I guess so. Sorry, Goyle, I didn't see you lumbering towards me. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Goyle. <laughs> oh, it's you, Goyle. You don't seem yourself today. There's something different about you, Goyle. You don't look so cruel and stupid. Wow. Happy holidays, Goyle. Want to break other people's presents later? What a bunch of shitheads. Draco's looking for you, Goyle. I think he might be up in the boys' dormitory. Well, that's actually something I did need to know. Not sure why that information was hidden away in a student that I had to know to bump into twice in order to hear that. Well, I mean, I should have been looking for Draco anyways. Sorry, Goyle. I didn't see you lumbering towards me. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. 
You know what, though? This whole level doesn't have a time limit, even though a Polyjuice Potion's effects are supposed to expire after an hour, I think. Yes, another card, and I'm basically stealing them from Slytherins, too. Another accidental, but pleasant discovery. And nothing happened. Maybe I need to go to the other one. There we go. I'll get it in a second, though. I want to check the other side. Alright, nothing here. Alright, let's see what's in here. I bet it's more beans. Oh, nice! I'm doing quite well with cards right now. Hopefully I'll get equally valuable information out of Malfuck. I think I missed an area. Hang on. At least the Bloody Baron has actual red blood on him this time. Although, did the book describe it as silver? Maybe the first game had it right after all. Where are Draco and Crab? Who gives a shit about Crab? Man, Goyle sounds like he's about to throw up when he climbs up on the bookshelves. Shit, I have to climb back up and listen to wretched noises again. He also sounds like he could be straining a massive shit or something. No, that's the way I came. This area looks quite a bit like it did in the movie, I think. Pretty cool. Where the fuck is the boys' dormitory, though? Alright, this way, I suppose. I don't know where else to lumber into. It's either one or the other. I guess I picked the wrong one. I'm surprised each gendered Snape. dormitory isn't blocked by a door or some other spell. You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? You don't want us Bullshit, to call I turned Snape. around to try and leave that time. I wonder, though, if they get mad if you stand back and just look into their direction. Ah, there's the fuckboy. There you are, Goyle! I've been looking all over for you. Come on, follow me! Oh, come on, I'm tired after this much exercise. Oh, that wasn't bad. You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. It's really As jarring when the subtitles don't exactly match the spoken the dialogue. Wizard feeling. And people think he's Slytherin's heir! I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle! How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh... No reaction to that statement? Draco said he would love to help the attacker and he hopes it's Hermione that gets killed. He basically just told you he's willing to murder your friend. Yes, that's it. The hospital wing. I've got a stomachache. Yeah, it sure as fuck sounded like it from earlier. need to get something for it. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. Is Harry feeling the potion wearing off? Oh shit, now he's fucked. I better try to keep my distance from the Slytherins and sneak out. If they spot me in here, who knows what might happen. 
Who knows what might happen. Yeah, I heard you the first time, Harry, and I share your concern, although you have to admit, this was a good way to add a unique challenge into the gameplay experience. What the fuck am I gonna do, though? Okay, just keep walking. Shit, he's coming back. God damn it, run. Fuck. I don't know what to do now. He's still coming this way. I guess they can't see me from the common room. Shit. God damn it, now what? Now just stay quiet and keep out of her peripheral vision. I thought I saw a griffin. Harry, you there. fuck nugget! What did I just tell you? No, don't run backwards, you can't see where you're going, and the other kid might be there. I guess I could hide in here. Keep a watch out for this other guy coming along down here. Okay, just walk by. Just a few more seconds. Something's not right. Fuck! Run! Just hey, fucking run. You look like Gryffindor. Fuck everything, just sprint out of here before they catch you. Holy shit, that was close. And he's still tailing close from behind. Professor Snape. Jesus Christ, imagine if Snape had caught me, or even just one of those students grabbed a hold of me. I don't even want to deal with that shit. I guess I made it out okay, though. You know what? Neither Ronald nor Emma Watson are risking their skin assisting me with this operation. In fact, what were they doing this whole time anyways? Ron doesn't usually do much in the first place, but Hermione has no excuse now. There's no reason to continue brewing the Polyjuice Potion now that the mission started, so... What were you doing this whole time while I was down there? Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool, but what's gonna come out of a relationship like that? Are you gonna fuck that thing and have a kid? Oh. Okay. Whatever.